At number eight, we stay in the southern part of the TV44 viewing area. In our eighth and final Shelby County League standout, the lone Rushi Raider. <laughs> Borchers, Rushi, class of 2011, cross country and track. Qualified for the state cross country and track meets all four years in high school, winning the 800 as a senior. Set school records in the 800, 1600, 5K, and 4x400 relay. Eight times first team all Shelby County League, twice first team all Ohio in cross country. Also lettered in basketball. Anytime I went to Rushi, it seemed like Katie Borchers was starring, whether it was in basketball or, of course, running. And she was always winning those Shelby County League meets, which is a very competitive league. A lot of times uh, they'll face MAC teams during the year, and Shelby County League, once they get to the, the tournament, they go south. And so for Katie, she would win the mile. She would win the distance races. Always so good in the 800. And, and you knew that Rushi was going to be very well rooted in that mid to long distance racing when she was there. Just a great team leader. It just had such a sweet spirit about her. Always smiling. Uh, never seemed to be giving, uh, in, you know, in any hardship, in any, any situation where she was um, really stressed or really pushed. The, they never had had a state champion and then they get two on one day where she wins and you know the boys 1600. Katie Borchers was one of my all-time favorite high school track athletes because I've always considered the 800 meters and that was her specialty as both a state champion but superb as a collegiate is has become almost a sprint a two lab sprint and she just has that mental toughness to go with it in addition to the fact that she's a scholar athlete you add it all up and to be so consistently good in a very uh, challenging event like anything middle distance her prowess in the half mile goes without saying, but she was also very good in the 16 moving forward. And, you know, you add that to her abilities in the classroom, and she's one of the all-timers in this area. But I loved on the basketball court how she was the floor general. She was the one that made that team go, and a lot of times it seemed like they had younger players that she was working with, and she was the one that would guide them. And she made the offense go, obviously. She could score, but she really, kind of like the mother hen, brought them along and made them a very good sectional and district team down in the Southwest District. The, the memories I have of her downstate is her one of the 800 meters. She was quite an 800 meter runner. Um, she just seemed like a fantastic 800 meter runner. Went to the next level and really took a whole different level in college. Truly, uh, her, her toughness as a runner is shocking because when you look at her, she looks rather slight, but really a great performer. When I grew up, there wasn't even a track in Rushi, and. Here's a kid running at Hayward Field, been an All-American. You know, I think you know, she had great times in high school and, and goes to Ohio State and cuts about 10 more seconds off her times in the 800. At Ohio State, multiple All-American, Big Ten champion and OSU record holder, as well as academic All-American and Big Ten Medal of Honor recipient. Katie Borchers, number eight on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes. Borchers is the only two-time All-American and All-Big Ten honoree in Ohio State's women's cross-country history.